there was a man who entered the masjid of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He entered the masjid of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he decided without knowing the sanctity or the level of holiness of the masjid, he urinated in one corner. He relieved himself in one corner. What happened? Imagine today if someone goes into the masjid and they urinate in one corner. In our language we say they pee in one corner, right? What would happen? I think there will be a small qiyama that will happen in that masjid. Yes. I think there will be a small day of judgment because everyone will stand up like the trumpet was blown and they will try to bash this person because how can you come in the masjid and urinate in one corner? What do you think you are doing? This is the house of Allah. But I want to tell you. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ Allah says to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we have sent you as a mercy to all al-alameen, everyone and everything. You are a mercy. Look at what he did, the love that he has, the care that he has, the kindness that he has, the beauty that he has. When the Sahaba companions, radiyallahu anhum, when they decided to scold and shout this man, he told them, keep quiet, leave him. One narration speaks about how he stopped them from stopping him. Now, you might laugh at what I'm going to say, but I need to say it. One narration speaks about how he stopped them from stopping him because when he started to urinate, they wanted to stop him. The Prophet ﷺ says, leave him. Why leave him? Any of you, while you started to urinate, if someone says, stop, what will you do? Can you think of it? What will you do? You will get sick. You, you try to hold your stomach and tighten your muscles. Nothing. You will get sick. The mercy of Rasulullah, the love of Rasulullah wasallam, the care and kindness. He said, leave him. Already he is doing it. Let him finish. We, one problem, don't create another problem. Okay? Subhanallah. Wallahi, beautiful thinking. Look at this. This is rahmatul lil alameen. Mercy. True mercy. Love. Kindness. Then you know what he said? He told his companions, go and get water. They went to get a bucket of water. When they were busy, he spoke to this man. He told him, hey, listen, subhanallah. This is the house of Allah. It is for dhikr, salah, tilawatul Quran. And it is for worshipping Allah. It is not for this type of thing. It is not for this type of thing. The man... I can imagine he was probably thinking on one hand, they wanted to hit me. On the other hand, the main person is telling me, look, you finish your business, don't do this again. The house of Allah is not for this thing. It is for good things, ibadah and worship. He was so happy. Imagine Umar ibn Khattab wanted to beat him up. Imagine who is Umar? Imagine they wanted to hit him. And he said, no, no, no. He looked at Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and I wonder what was going through his mind. He said, Allahumma arhamni, warham Muhammadan, wa la tarham ma'ana ahadan. Oh Allah, have mercy on me. Have mercy on Muhammad, peace be upon him. But do not have mercy on anyone else. <laughs> now there is a new problem. What's the new problem? He's making another mistake. What is the mistake? How can you make so small the mercy of Allah? It is so big. The kindness, the love of Allah is huge. You cannot bring it to two people only. So the Prophet ﷺ again answered him beautifully. He said, 
You are trying to make narrow something which is very, very broad. You are trying to make small something which is very, very big. And the problem was solved. This is the mercy. This is the love. In the same way that when we see our brothers, our sisters, be they Muslim or non-Muslim, when they are making a mistake, when they are doing something wrong, you need to correct them with love. Not with hate. Remember that. You need to keep reminding them with love, not with hate. The problems we are facing on the globe today is we are trying to combat hate with hate. So it brings about more hate. We are trying to combat a mistake with a bigger mistake. It brings about a bigger problem. We need to change that. My brothers and sisters, we should all be speaking about the kindness of the Prophet ﷺ.